Morning, everyone. Today is Friday, the 8th of May. I find that I need to just look at the calendar because every day seems to blur into another day. And I think is today the 7th or the 8th or the 9th? I kind of remember it's May and I sort of know it's a Friday. Um, and so it reminds me of some of the homes, um, old age homes that I've had to go into. And there in the in the meeting room, the nursing sisters put up a big sign. Today is Friday, the 8th of May, and it is sunny. Just so that the folk living there with routines that are so similar day after day will know what day it is. And I felt a little bit like that this morning. One of the routines I have is reasonably early in the morning, I do my morning prayer. And immediately after that, I record this little message of encouragement. And today's a rather dark and gloomy day in Polokwane, such that in order to do my morning prayer effectively and to be able to read and see what it is I'm doing, I actually needed to put the light on. And that got me thinking, as we move into the future, um, with this new SARS coronavirus and its impact on us, COVID-19, we don't really know what the future holds. It's, it's as if the future is dark. Dark, not because it's necessarily evil or um, dangerous. It is a little dangerous, but it's dark because we don't know. We cannot see into the future. We don't know what the long-term impact, economics, health, political, socio-economic, whatever. We don't really know how this will impact our own country, our own particular lives. We certainly don't know how it will impact the world. I do suggest, though, that the world will be a very different place. South Africa and our own particular lives and circumstances will be dramatically different as a result of this. And many books will be written about this period. But how do we go into the future when we don't know what it is? How do we go into the future when it is so dark? Well, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. I am the way, and the truth, and the life. And so as we go into the weekend, may I suggest that you put your hand in the hand of the Lord and let him lead you. For the future is not unknown to him. All these potential dramatic changes that will come about, God is well aware of that. And if we walk with him, he will obviously guide us and lead us to the place that he would have us be. I mentioned yesterday Psalm 23. And does Psalm 23 not say that the Lord is our shepherd and he will lead us to green pastures and by still waters? So, dear friends, put your hand in the hand of the Lord, the light of the world. God bless. Bye-bye.